Hey guys, this is Karan Binani from MobiScrub and this is the second part to the best Android apps for June 2014. Now the first one that I want to talk about is called Retrica. I think it's derived from Retro Camera and this has become my recent most favorite camera app. Unlike other camera apps, this one truly has some really great vintage filters that you can apply to your photos and lets you preview these filters before you take the picture. The filters look great and saves you the trouble of adding any effects or color filters that you might want to apply. The app offers up to 80 free filters and I think that's just brilliant. There are some 25 locked ones that you can unlock using an upgrade. You can also apply grid effects in case you want to align multiple photos together. So if you're using say Instagram, you can choose a square one is to one ratio photo and so on. Or you can use multiple shots together and have them you know, put into a collage together. There's also a randomizer button that gives you a random filter effect to apply, but with this you might come across a filter that is unpaid for. The best way really is to browse through them and see which one fits your taste and lighting the most. My favorite is cold, rosy, uh, and AT3. The next one I want to talk about is called floating stickies. Now, I don't use this too often, but I definitely use it when something is too important for me to forget. This app would never let you miss an important note because it always overlays on top of anything you do. Uh, so, you know, you can just resize it, add your note and leave it right there. Uh, you can add another note by tapping the plus icon and a new colored sticky note opens up. So, and as you can see, it overlays on top of whatever you're doing. Um, and so you'll never miss it out. Now you can copy content from the note, paste content into the note or even share the note itself through apps like Gmail, WhatsApp or any other uh, app that you have installed. The third one is called Link Bubble. It's one of the most innovative and non-intrusive way of opening links that you come across while reading an email or a message or an article on Flipboard. You just have to tap the link and the bubble keeps loading the whole page while you continue doing whatever you were doing. You can share it through various apps such as Facebook, WhatsApp, Gmail, or you can just slide it to the cross button and it shuts off. You can tap the bubble and it opens the link that it has already loaded as you can see. Uh, you can also open more links if you wanted to, so just minimize that, go ahead, read whatever you want to and tap another link. It'll continue opening uh, a second tab, but you know, again, now that's a paid uh, option to open multiple tabs. So, you know, if you want, you can just pay. Uh, I'm using the free version right now, but I have a 15 day trial period. And again, there you go. You can just share it with anyone through any of these apps uh, that you want. The next one is called Music Smash. It's a great app because not only is it a good music player, but also gives you so much more information about the tracks uh, you play and hear. Information like artists, identifying songs playing around you and much more. So let's say you're playing a song. The app would automatically fetch lyrics and sync it to the song as it plays. So you can see the portions of the lyrics. They get highlighted based on where exactly the track is. You can also look at your playlist and rearrange tracks. It's really easy. Just tap the button right there on top and then uh, using these uh, square icons, you can just rearrange them. The app also features its own lock screen, giving you access to controls like pause, next track, previous track without unlocking the screen or entering the app. Also, as you play the song, you get additional information such as the album the song belongs to and other songs from the same album in the discography section. You can also use the app to identify music that's playing around you. Just go to the music ID section and then tap the X mark in the center. The app would start listening to the music playing behind you and tell you the name and album of the song, just like Shazam. The next app I'm going to talk about is called Push Pillet. Now, basically, it lets you push messages, pictures, links, notes as notifications to any other phone or person. I think it's a brilliant and an easy way to get your message across as a notification and because it appears as a notification, it also seems more important than a conventional WhatsApp or a text message. The only thing that the app requires is that you log into Push Bullet through the app on your device and allow other people to send you notifications by inputting their email addresses. If you want to send a notification to someone, just ensure that they too have the app and have allowed you to send them notifications. Now, for example, I just sent a test message using the web browser. Similarly, someone else can send it to you too. Let's say you uh, want to send a shopping list to someone. Once I ensure that the phone that I am sending to also has Push Bullet installed and has given me permission, I can quickly make a list and push it out. For example, in this case, to Gioni S5.5. And there you go, guys. It's right there. I just sent it. I just pushed it and it came on uh, the phone immediately. 
and this is the most handy one. Let's say you're reading an article on your computer and you really, really like it. You probably want to share it with a friend. Just tap on the push bullet Chrome plugin that you can install from the Chrome web store and just push the link to any friend who has push bullet installed. Your friend will receive it instantly and can start reading it. You can add multiple friends and their devices using their email address and letting them allow you to push them stuff. Another great utility app is called Unified Remote. This app lets you control your computer remotely using your smartphone as long as both of them are on the same network. Now for this you need to download the app on your phone and a small software on your computer. Just visit the link uh, on, the, on, on the computer uh, and download the software for PC or Mac and keep hitting next until it is installed. Then go back to your smartphone and scan for new servers. It will automatically show, your computer would basically show up as uh, you know, a server uh, and you can just tap it and you would be connected. So there you go, it shows KBPC as my computer. I tap on it and uh, there you go, it's connected. You can now browse through all possible remotes such as using your phone as a mouse or a keyboard for uh, you know inputting in your computer, controlling the VLC or Winamp or any other music or video player, exploring the files on your computer, opening the task manager and there are just so many more remotes that are available. Well of course you need the paid version to unlock all of them but even for a free version I think it does the basic job done. So uh, the first one I want to show you is using the mouse or the keyboard and just to show how easy it is. Now there you go guys, I'm on the same Wi-Fi network or the same internet network basically uh, and I'm trying to control the mouse input using my phone. So as you can see, you know, I'm pretty much doing everything on the smartphone and it's being replicated onto the computer screen. I can even go to say facebook.com and I just have to tap there and then tap on the keyboard uh, section on the bottom of the app and I can type say Facebook or something uh, and hit enter and Facebook will open up. So it's a brilliant app, uh, you know, if you don't want to get up and uh, do something on your computer when you just around it and you can control it remotely. Um, you know, I can even look at all the files that are there on my hard disk and even open and launch things from the phone. So, you know, I can play a music file or even a video if I wanted to by just browsing through files, um, you know, tapping on it and it, it'll just launch and then I can use another remote to control that. So I think it's pretty cool. The last app uh, of this video and a must have app is AirDroid. It's the best way to transfer files, photos, music, videos between your phone and your computer wirelessly. Uh, you just need to be on the same network and have the app installed on your smartphone. Then you can key the IP address that the app shows in your computer browser. Uh, and once you do that and hit enter, you know, on your smartphone, it will show up a pop up and you can just say yes. Um, and then you will see an interface on your desktop that, that shows all information about your smartphone along with the ability to see all files on your phone. And now everything is in your hand. You can upload music to your phone, download images from your phone or download screenshots from your phone to the computer, vice versa. You know, you can even install apps. You can even access the camera of your smartphone using this app. So I think it's pretty, pretty brilliant. Uh, this just, Everything, all, the entire file management comes under one app and it's so easy because there are no wires involved. So guys, these seven apps sum it all up for June. Uh, next month, I'll be out with even more new apps for you and your smartphone. Stay tuned. Do not forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe.